super car blonde here in Frankfurt. Um, we're heading out actually today in this beast. What? Pascal has come to pick us up in this incredible Maybach Laundelet. And I, I've driven one for literally like maybe 20 meters. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I mean, you can see um, the moment you realize that the car of choice was shit. Because the passenger, <laughs> got seat, so many the passenger so much seat is already blocked. It's a massive car, right? But actually the boot space isn't that big, yeah, is it? It's not that big. So we've been able to fit a massive one, a suitcase here and then two little ones on top. And then another one in the front seat. <laughs> has called shotgun in the laundrette. Yeah. I mean, seriously, yeah. luggage like it's that's how that's how a piece of luggage wants to travel, right? Front seat of a one and a half million dollar car. There you go. <laughs> We're gonna go to Pascal's place today. He's been kind enough to invite us down to see his collection. You guys are in for a massive treat. What is it? A, like a couple of hours drive or? Um, so we're driving out to Speyer. We blocked the airport there. Blocked and, the airport. Um, yeah, we blocked the airport, and you will see a very special car there. Really? And after that, we go to the collection. Okay. And you get a car for the night. Oh. So. Um, wow. Will be kind of windy for your hair. <laughs> It'll be fine. okay. We, we hope up. the weather will be fine. <laughs> All of this is a surprise to me, you guys. I don't know what cars there are going to be. What's happening? It and won't get boring today. <laughs> I'm sure about that. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. Wow. I mean, look. I didn't know what you were coming to pick us up in. This is already a crazy surprise, guys. This is the Maybach Wanderlet. Only nine. 99 of these were made in the world. It's just like a massive G-Wagon, I suppose. And this whole back area actually comes off. You see this kind of panoply here that kind of all comes off. And there are some beautiful lounge chairs in there that you can just kind of sit back and watch the world go by. But what do you guys actually use it for generally? I mean- Oh yeah, as a shuttle car and yeah, um, yeah that's- As that's a shuttle car. Okay. <laughs> By the way, guys, you see this? I've got some stickers coming out. Make sure you go and check out the store. It is currently on lockdown in preparation for our next launch. We've got lots and lots and lots of things coming. I'm really excited to show you. Go and check it out. The link to that shop is in the description below this video. I would love you guys to be part of the Super Car Blondie family. Wow. <laughs> this is so epic. Oh man, wow. Okay, we're gonna be chauffeured today. Yeah. No way. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my God, no way. Oh, I feel so, so special. This is so awesome. I've never been chauffeured in a laundrette before. I'm usually the one driving. This feels really nice. Look how much space there is. Look at this. Awesome, okay, let's go, shall we? drive to go and see the collection I've got to speak up because it's so windy back here <laughs> it's so windy it's really actually quite loud because there's only this kind of tarpaulin that's keeping you from the outside it's not really a highway made car this is meant to be like for cruising safaris like have it open have a bottle of champagne as you look at things around you here is a little desk To get the privacy screen up, this is like the ultimate chauffeur car. There is a little button here, this one. This winds the screen up. And then if you don't want to see through to the front, you just press this button here and that will frost it. Look at that. Unfrost, frost. Now the coolest thing, or one of the coolest things about this car is this entire part of the car comes off. So you just un unclick both of those and then with this button here, it opens.
This car is insane. This is also cool. Little drinks holder here is actually cooled. You can press it on cooling if you want it to get cold or you can put it on heating if you want to keep your drinks hot. I've never seen that before. Here you have room for your champagne and champagne glasses or your canister, whatever you want to keep in here. This little compartment, I don't know what for. Your phone, does that fit? Yep, perfect. Actually, it'd be nice if that was a charger, wouldn't it? These ones, little glove box. Oh, look, more, more little drinks holders here. We've got pretty decent sized screens here. We've got these incredible, luxurious, like lazy boy chairs in the back, but you still have all of the details that you get in a chauffeur driven car. It's all about the back area being super luxurious. This is like kind of normal seating position. Look how far you can lean back. Oh, and you've got a pillow as well. And then this little footstool thingy with Bob comes up. Press that. Oh, that is so nice, you guys. Like, look at this weather. You just see straight up to the blue skies. It's a bit cloudy today, but it's so beautiful. I'm really not sure where you would use this. Like, you wouldn't want to be on a highway with the roof open and like cheersing champagne to all the passing cars. It doesn't really make sense in that environment. But what, if you have like a massive estate, you drive it around on your estate maybe. When we were backing this car up into this position, we noticed that there's no reverse camera, which is a little bit weird for such a big car. And also when the roof is on, you've only got like a small little window here to look out of. And half of that view is obscured by the spare tire. Other than that, I haven't really noticed anything else that I'm like, well, for one and a half million dollars, it pro should probably have that, except the champagne bottle's missing. <laughs> so, massive fail there. It's a dud, trade it in. <laughs> this car is the same height as a G-Wagon 4x4 squared, so you're sitting up really high. It's a V12 bit turbo with over 600 horsepower. Shall we go? We're on a private airstrip here. We're gonna take this baby for a spin down the airstrip. Just take a look at this, guys. So this is the chauffeur's seat. This step is gonna retract. Listen to this. Massive, massive thank you to Mechatronic who came to pick us up in this beast today from Frankfurt and take us down to this private airport so that we could test out a few of their cars, their private collectors. And we have another car just over there out of the side of uh, the camera that we've been filming with today. Or are you gonna zoom in on it? Oh, it's over there. That's another entirely separate video for you guys. We've been having an amazing time with that car, this car. We're now off to see more of their private collection, which is just crazy. So a massive thank you to these guys. Go give them some love, that's their handle. Go find them on Instagram. I think that's pretty much it. A massive thank you to you guys for watching. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for spending your time on my channel. Give the video a quick like and subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. I'm gonna keep hunting down the world's best cars. All right, I think we're out for now. I'm just gonna chill here. Love you. Bye.